Today on the channel, it's time for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 5 as today we count down my personal Top 5 Jerry the King Lawler figures. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 5. This is the time of the week, every single Thursday on the channel, where we do a best of Top 5, sometimes a Top 10 for special occasions, and we count them down from the least favorite to my favorite, and like I said, every single Thursday on the channel, so make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss one of these videos, and as usual, I'm going to ask you guys, make sure you put your list in the comments down below. This is my list. I want to see what your list is. Five being your least favorite, number one, of course, being your favorite. And like I said, today we're taking a look at Jerry the King Lawler. An interesting one here is longtime wrestling fans or historians, whatever you want to call it, uh, they're going to say Jerry the King Lawler, one of the greatest wrestling superstars of the 80s. Uh, obviously, USWA, the Memphis uh, Territory, a little pigeonholed into that area, but he did travel around AWA, we remember that. Uh, so he is very, very iconic as far as 80s wrestling. Maybe not up to the name of the Hulk Hogan, of course, and Ric Flair, uh, but to me, definitely on the top five of 80s wrestling uh, legends, I guess. But it's funny how most people these days, especially the younger generation, when they think Jerry the King Lawler, they just think straight announcer. And man, uh, he was a great announcer, is a great announcer, but his wrestling for me is what took him to that old next level we love to talk about. And I love the King. And I first came into contact with Jerry the King Lawler as a small boy watching David Letterman tapes at the local VHS store. And they had a whole thing on his feud with Jerry, Jerry the King Lawler's feud with Andy Kaufman. I absolutely loved Taxi back in the day, so I loved Andy Kaufman. I loved wrestling, got to learn about Jerry Lawler. Then I found some documentary VHSs and stuff like that to really live that feud. Got to watch him on a lot of VHS tapes, of course, uh, on ESPN in the afternoons he was on when we had some USWA and stuff like that. So Jerry Lawler, a, a bit of a forgotten guy about how big he was in wrestling in the 80s. And I'm glad we got figures from all generations of Jerry King Lawler, from announcer all the way back to wrestling and all the points in between. And we're going to talk about those in today's video. So as a reminder, make sure you put your list in the comments down below. So let's kick it off. Let's start it off with number five. All right, we kick it off at number five on the Jerry the King Lawler countdown. And for number five, we go to Mattel. Mattel WWE Elites running for over 10 years at this point. It's amazing to think they've been going on that long. But one of the first, if not the first, Jerry the King Lawler figure we got from them was an Elite Series 18 Jerry the King Lawler. Now, this is more of a modern-day Jerry Lawler. I guess modern being recent, older Jerry Lawler uh, from his WrestleMania feud with, of course, Michael Cole. Uh, but that was Jerry Lawler's first WrestleMania event he got to participate in. So a big time for Jerry Lawler. Uh, now, I do like younger Jerry Lawler better, of course, in the ring, as probably most Jerry Lawler fans do. But this one is special. Got the cape. We're in the thick of cape season right now. And Jerry Lawler, cape season year-round for him. So he, maybe he's a little bit more advanced than the rest of us. But he's got a beautiful cape here. Got a nice black crown. Good older version of Jerry the King Lawler in the face sculpt. Uh, for this coming out eight, nine years ago, whatever it was at this point, maybe even ten years ago. Very, very good likeness to Jerry the King Lawler here. And this really does double as a wrestling figure or an announcer. Uh, choose your own adventure with this Jerry the King Lawler. But going through all the Jerry King Lawlers in my collection, looking at all of his figures, sleeping on it and everything else, had to put this one on the list. It was close, but we're going to put him in at number five. All right, we're at number four on the Jerry the King Lawler countdown. At number four, we go to Jax, but not Jax Classic Superstars. We go back to the Jax Bone Crunching days. For number four, we go to the old Bad Boys line, a very, very underrated line in the Jax Bone Cruncher days. Uh, so many new figures out of that line. It really did take your uh, figure collection to that old next level in the Bone Cruncher days. And Jerry the King Lawler was a welcome addition, obviously his wrestling years and then announcer years. A, a bit of a two-in-one figure, depending how you played with him. But I was so jazzed up to get this Jerry the King Lawler back in the day. Now, does this look as good as number five? No, obviously this is before 
for the Mattel elites, innovation, stuff like that. But this Jerry the King Lawler figure is tremendous for the Bone Crunchers. I love the kind of wide stance he has. Perfect for doing his patented pile driver. You got the removable crown, which is red. Uh, it looks enough like Jerry the King Lawler in the Bone Crunching days. Just a fabulous, fabulous figure that I really did enjoy. This was my first Jerry the King Lawler action figure. And was this the first Jerry the King Lawler action figure? Off the top of my head, this might have been his first figure ever. Trying to think. He didn't get a Galoob. He didn't get a Hasbro, of course. Didn't get an LJN. Uh, I think this might have been his first figure outside of maybe bootleg stuff that might have been made. Uh, but this one was really cool. That whole Bad Boys line was really good. I really enjoyed that line. And Jerry the King Lawler, a favorite of mine. A fun one to play with. Uh, not stuck in some weird poses. There was a lot to like about this Lawler. Now, they did re-release this with a different paint job like a lot of Bone Crunchers. There was a blue version of this one as well. And I kind of thought, you know, I like blue more than red. But this is the one I had at first. This is really his more iconic uh, outfit as far as this time frame especially. So I put this one at number four. So the Jax Bone Cruncher from the Bad Boys line, Jerry the King Lawler, coming in at number four. All right, we're at the halfway point. We're at the number three spot. Make sure you put your list in the comments down below. But number three comes from my favorite wrestling line of all time, Jack's Classic Superstars. Which way am I going? Well, we're going with the two-pack. The two-pack with Andy Kaufman, the Toys R Us exclusive, Jerry the King Lawler, Andy Kaufman two-pack. This is one of the things I love the most about the Jax Class Superstars line. A lot has changed over the years. Yes, figures have gotten better, but you go back to the Class Superstars line, Jeremy Pidauer and the Jax team were able to sign people outside of the WWE for figures. That is something that is severely lacking in this day and age. I get it, the legalities brings a lot of that in there uh, and what WWE allows them to do. But back in the Jax Class Superstars heyday, they had no problems of them reaching out for Andy Kaufman to get him in here or other wrestlers that weren't maybe uh, best of friends with the WWE at the time to sign them in the class of superstars. Can you imagine if we could get that from Mattel or even AEW? Not as good of an example as AEW, but Mattel in this day and age, get some of those classics that we've been missing out on. Man, that would be something else. But back in the class of superstars days, we did get that. And I talked about how much I enjoyed the Jerry King Lawler, Andy Kaufman feud. I loved Taxi. I loved Andy Kaufman. I looked into him a lot in my early teens and stuff. Watched so many VHS tapes, Saturday Night Live episodes. Of course, Taxi every day. Just loved Andy Kaufman. Uh, and then the Jerry the King Lawler bringing that together. My favorite wrestling with my favorite comedian back then. Just very, very cool. I wish I was alive for the heyday of it, or I guess I was alive probably, but I was too little to understand what the heck was going on. But just this epic feud brought together in a two-pack here, a fabulous Andy Kaufman figure, just absolutely fabulous with the stretcher. But the Jerry the King Lawler figure here is, when I think of Jerry the King Lawler, this is what I think of first. I think of the goatee down here, awesome looking goatee, Jerry Lawler with the cowboy boots going on here, the red and black, bringing the strap down. You know business is picking up when Jerry the King Lawler's putting the strap down. Just a phenomenal figure, a phenomenal representation. If we were talking packs as a whole and just not Jerry the King Lawler figure, this would probably be number one. Just how cool of a pack this is. We do get another Andy Kaufman with robe in the Class Superstars line, and we do get a mother Jerry the King Lawler. But as far as Lawler's, Jack's Class Superstars, this one comes in at number three on my top five Jerry the King Lawler list. All right, we're getting down to the end. We're at number two on my Jerry the King Lawler countdown list. And number two is his most recent action figure. It comes once again from Mattel. It comes from the Elite line. It comes from Elite Series 82. A sleeper figure, and I would say the biggest sleeper figure of 2021 as far as wrestling figures. This came out very, very early in 2021. So by the end, when people were doing their list, I think a lot of people forgot this Jerry Lawler and how good this is. Soft goods cape, cape season, like we said, in full swing, year round for Jerry Lawler. Beautiful blue crown here, beautiful outfit, beautiful design, beautiful coloring. Fabulous Jerry the King Lawler. This one harks back to his introduction to the WWF back in the day. His feud with Bret Hart, of course, in that time frame. Just a phenomenal Jerry Lawler figure. One so good, I had to get mint on card, mint in box, whatever you want to call it. And of course, autograph by Jerry the King Lawler. Now, I am not a big autograph guy, but there's a few people, the Mount Rushmores, uh, I would say, or people a little beyond that. A few that have 
really been, I've been a fan of my entire career, the Terry Funks, the Ultimate Warriors, the Ric Flairs, the Jerry Lawlers. There's a few of those guys that have been around my whole life that if I can come across them or if I see them somewhere, you know what? I will get a snap, a, a little autograph and a little picture with them if I have the opportunity. Like I said, I'm not a huge, I know there's some people that like everything autographed. I'd rather have a picture with somebody than an autograph. But man, I've got to say, got to give it up to Jerry the King Lawler. He could have the best autograph going today. You know, so many sports stars, we're just going to say sports stars, not wrestling stars, but sports stars put their initials down. They do a sloppy autograph. Jerry the King Lawler is from the generation where they take care, really do spend the time on their autograph. Looks amazing here. Uh, you know, you think of like Dean Ambrose back in the day. He'd sign a D and an A. What is that? You know, what is that? We see a lot of those guys doing things like that now. Jerry the King Lawler, you get a nice full signature. Really beautiful there. He takes his time. Uh, you know, very nice, very nice. And that's why this one, I love this, but just a fabulous figure here. And very, very underrated. One of the most underrated elites of all time, if you ask me. But that's Jerry the King Lawler, Elite Series 82, coming in at number two. Now we're at the finals. Who came in at number one? All right, the time has come. We're at the number one spot. Make sure you have your list in the comments down below. And then while you're here, give this video the old thumbs up. Leave your list, as I said. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Pick up a t-shirt, support the channel. And like I said, every single Thursday, we're doing a countdown. So make sure you're here for next Thursday's countdown. But number one for me, Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, it was tough decision, but not all that tough for me. Going into this, I thought I knew what my number one was. Like I said, I always put them out. I sleep on it, come back. Sometimes things change, sometimes they don't. Well, in this case, number one stayed the same for me. And this one goes to the Mattel Elite line once again. Target exclusive Hall of Fame line, Jerry the King Lawler. I talked a little bit about it in the Classic Superstars, uh, Andy Kaufman at number three. Jerry the King Lawler, for me, the most iconic look to him is this. He's got the cape, of course the crown, crown on the pants, but the goatee. The goatee for Jerry Lawler just brings him to the next level. And I say next level a lot, but that's exactly what that is with Jerry the King Lawler. Something about that time frame where he had the facial hair, it just looked right for Jerry Lawler. Uh, he just seemed meaner, seemed tougher. I don't know what it was, but whenever I watch old matches of Jerry Lawler, just something about him during this era with the goatee just speaks to me more than obviously his Bret Hart feud in the WWF, for example. Clean, shaven Jerry the King Lawler. And I always equate this to the Andy Kaufman years, things like that, which is my favorite time of Jerry the King Lawler. But slam dunk figure here, not a ton different from number five from Mattel. Uh, different cape, different stuff, but obviously the head, the younger Jerry the King Lawler. Just a ton here for me that I like. Uh, in a sleeper figure, once again, it feels like almost every Jerry the King Lawler figure flies kind of under that radar. And I think that goes back to him not getting... It's quite the respect he deserves from his years of wrestling and what he did because he was there for just a, a small pocket audience compared to Hogan and Flair that traveled the world, of course, as we know. Uh, but Jerry King Lawler, a big part of my fandom, my big part of my growing up watching wrestling. Uh, so what an all-time great for me, for sure. Hopefully for you guys as well. If you're watching this video, maybe you're interested in him, you would think. Uh, but number one for me, the Target Hall of Champions, or no, Hall of Fame Jerry the King Lawler is my number one. So I'm going to ask you guys again, make sure you put your top five in the comments down below and come back here next Thursday as we do another countdown. So for Jerry the King Lawler, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.